Patty Christensen and CRPS lady. In this video, I just wanted to give a little bit of a follow-up, I guess, to my situation. And this is especially for people who are newly diagnosed or newly starting the CRPS journey. Um, it, the thing with CRPS is, you know, you're going along, you've had some kind of a trauma, surgery, car wreck, whatever, and you feel like you start to get better. And then all of a sudden, bam, something is wrong and your pain is off the 10 scale and nothing seems to work for it. Right. Um, and doctors can be confused because they're like, but, but you're healed. What's, what's going on? Like for me, it was the carpal tunnel surgeries. You can't even hardly see that. And, um, you know, and then all of a sudden there's all these reactions. And like in my case, it wasn't even what I'll call an appropriate reaction because my pain started out here. Well, if you know carpal tunnel, it controls here, right? So it was just crazy. Anyway, and it was awful. My hands were swollen, discolored. The pain was off the charts. I could not do anything. I could not even hold a hairbrush. It was awful. Um, I decided early on not to take some of those pain medicines, mostly because most people say it doesn't seem to work because you don't have an acute injury. You've got, you know, something going on up here. So I decided to go the more natural route and, um, you know, watch some videos for pain doctor type stuff and went good and hard with the B1, the B6, the B12, the C, uh, the magnesium, all those kinds of things. And, um, now here I am, you know, a year, year and a half later. And, um, I'm glad I didn't give up in the beginning because that's the temptation. This disease has its nickname for a reason, right? It's just so overwhelming. And there were days when I just said, I can't do this, but here I am over a year later and the pain it's there, but I will put it as, it's quite manageable. Um, when I was sick, of course, that causes flares, so that made it even worse. But, um, you know, if it, if it gets bad, I put the numbing cream on and then a glove, so I'm not accidentally, you know, touching my face with numbing cream or whatever. Uh, and that's, so, but I really point a lot of my success to just, you know, works for me, check with your doctor, all those disclaimers, blah, 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 blah. But the vitamin therapy seem to really make a difference for me. Um, and so part of what I, now, you know, I still have this problem and it's getting worse every, you know, it's always getting worse, but, um, you know, that is what it is. But as far as, as the pain side of things, you know, don't, if you're newly diagnosed, don't give up, you know, experiment with what works for you. You know, the heat, Cold apparently is not good, but maybe cool. Uh, you know, whatever works for you, don't give up in the beginning. That's that's my important thing here. Um, I'm part of the Hand CRPS Facebook group, but you know, all the social medias have different groups for this type thing. Uh, there's different YouTube folks. What do we call them? YouTubers that post things, uh, you know, for, for that support and to let you see, oh, year and a half out, okay, I'm not gonna give up. It may not stay at this level forever. Um, so I just wanted to give that a shout out to people who are newly diagnosed because it is horrific, it is scary, but maybe you can find some things like I did that really work to calm it down and let you still have a, you know, obviously slightly altered, but you know, but a good life. So just, um, that's, that's what I wanted this shout out for is for the newly diagnosed. If you can just kind of hang in there, treat it as a science experiment, figure out, oh, you know what? I didn't hurt as bad when I didn't eat junk food. Oh, I didn't hurt as bad when I put mitts on, you know, those types of things and find, and just kind of keep track and just whittle away at it slowly and hopefully you'll do well. So that's today's shout out.